God dang, there's nothing better than a warm, hot, glazed donut in the morning. We were getting going here, guys. I got the F-250 out running here this morning. I got a half a dozen of these warm, glazed donuts. I better get them inside the truck real quick. Now, if you guys are wondering, am I going to eat half a dozen glazed donuts? Yes. Yes, I am. I'm going to eat literally all of them once we get back to the shop. So today's, today's job is really fun. I've been looking forward to it. I've had it scheduled in my calendar for like two weeks. And it's actually right here where we're going to be working. I've done a lot at the baseball field. It, it's my job to make this baseball field look amazing for the gra for grass wise. But then like dirt work, that that's like not my thing. That's like the grounds people who take care of the dirt. But I do the lawn. And so fall's coming around the corner. What? It's almost September. So those cooler temperatures, the cool season grasses are going to be really good, especially around the Midwest here. So I wanted to get my application of a fertilizer in and the grass is a little uh little it, it's ready for a mow. it's due for a cut so what the plan is today is we're gonna what, what is that in our parking lot oh or somebody or somebody left the mulcher what the heck did it fall out or something but i got a few other things to show you guys here here let me pull around what am i doing but we're gonna make a cut at the baseball field and then we're gonna come in and put some fertilizer down now i i didn't have a fertilizer until today or fertilizer spreader, but I'll show you guys what I got. But real quick, let me get my cup of joe. These donuts are gonna get scarfed down like they're nothing, boys. There we go. I inhaled all, literally inhaled the donuts is how somebody would, somebody watched me eat those donuts would describe it. But I need to clean up that mulching disc over there. And there's a big landscaping rock. But I haven't showed you guys this. We, You've seen a lot of construction equipment. A few concrete, concrete trucks have pulled in. And there's a bunch of lumber and, and metal siding and sheeting and roofing materials. This just got built. It's pretty sick. Where's the lights? I don't know if they have them hooked up. Let's see. Oh, they do. I didn't think they had electricity yesterday. They didn't. But this is it. This is going to be our over our our off storage or our, our off season storage. So once winter rolls around, we're gonna take all our mowing, all our landscaping equipment, put it in here, and then we're gonna take. Well, I don't really have too much winter stuff right now, but we'll take the winter stuff, put it into the in season storage. Now we still will probably use this. We'll probably, especially for winter stuff, it is kind of big. I was debating there might be some big plow trucks that we have that might be best in here, but for the most part. All our mowing stuff is going to go in here because we won't, we won't be using it when it's when it's zero degrees, blizzards and everything. But this is what I just picked up. So this is a little Can-Am four-wheeler. Now, I'm not an expertise in like four-wheeler kind of work, knowing what's going on there. But this is this is what I bought it for. It's got a nice spreader back here. This is for if I wanted to overseed, I could. But you can throw a fertilizer in here and seed and it's nice for spreading. So it's uh, it's a Can-Am. It's something that I can, I can take that spreader off and use it myself for like funner things. Um, and then also I can use it as kind of like a utility run around the shop pull little trailers, which is It's just it's good to have a four-wheeler anyway It has the 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 like exhaust fan on the front there like I said, I'm not expertise But I think either that's for like off-running like a snorkel I'm pretty sure that's to make sure it doesn't overheat. I don't know too much. Somebody's gonna correct me but enough jibber-jabbering My belly's full of <laughs> half a dozen donuts. Let's go ahead hook up to the trailer and we'll get gosh dang it There's a mower on there. Okay, I gotta take the mower off first and then we'll uh, we'll get going here All right guys real quick as we're unloading this mower I want to give a quick shout out to G portal who is a dedicated hosting server company and that's how I host all my servers I have five percent on five percent off in the description Go ahead check that out if you use that link and then go through G portal on the site and purchase something You'll get five percent off if you guys already don't know this is how I run 99 mostly all my videos I'm running it through a G portal server one it makes it way easier for me mod wise and bringing on like people especially if I want to bring on people in the community or fans that want to play with me it makes it so easy because I could just share them a, pro a public mod link and then all the mods are right there and it Oh, it's amazing. So if you guys haven't already, check out my video on like how to run a dedicated server. If you're interested, say something in the comments, but there we go. 5% off in the description. Check it out if you're in interested. What am I doing? I said I was going to mow the baseball field and then fertilize it. Why did I take the mower off? I knew. Gosh, dang it. I put that on there last night knowing what I was going to do. That is so bad. I need to enough talk talking. Let's get to the baseball field. All right, guys, we got the mower warmed up. Let's go ahead back off the trailer here. I need to. I'm going to make a pretty good, pretty good mow, but we're going to go over it like with the four wheeler and stuff. So my stripes will get a little bit affected just because like the four wheeler tires are going to make like their own lines of themselves. But I'll kind of keep that in mind when I'm mowing here and stuff, but it should be good. You know, one thing I'm really excited about my favorite time of the year is winter. I love 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 snow if you guys watch my videos a lot and like watch my own like snowing snow plowing videos you guys know that like i love snow plowing like in real life i'm just in real life my favorite season favorite time is winter i just like it because it's one christmas and then i just like doing things in the snow whether it's snowmobiling snow plowing just like just i enjoy just 
clearing the driveway with a with a, just a handy dandy shovel i think it's really enjoyable i'm also excited to start like plowing some snow once it gets a little colder we can probably start plowing some snow but on this uh on on, on our business right here so that'll be a lot of fun i'm gonna knock out this field probably quit talking here and we're gonna we're gonna get busy put in my airpods you know just listen to this, some podcasts out there or something enjoy the time guys and let's knock this sucker out <laughs> somebody but not just anyone if you ain't looking you might just as well be blind because it's so easy to love but it's so hard to find people say that's just the way it goes A kind of woman's hard to find And that's one thing that I know When you ain't look It's gonna pass you from behind It's so easy to love But it's so hard to find All right, guys, so we got it all mowed. That was that was interesting. And the mower is super dirty and it's it's it needs repaired. So like if you don't know already, the casters are actually green. So the casters, that's actually really cool. Now the caster wheels. So so Buck, I, I want to give a shout out to Mr. Boom Bastic or oh, his official name is the Renaman Man Buck on YouTube. So go check out his channel. But anyway, he's the one who made this mod. Great mod, a great guy. And the caster wheels like don't turn and stuff, but it's actually pretty cool. Like, that's realistic that that's green, you know? Like, it could be brown and just like the end game. I don't know if that's luck or whatever, but this thing is needs a bath. It needs my toothbrush in every little crevice, and then it needs a nice uh, a nice waxing on it. But it also needs, like, the paint repaired. But that that's just farm sim. That's how it works. Anyway, this is what we you guys have all been waiting for. We mowed enough lawns. We've done all that. But let's go ahead. Let's take the four-wheel off. I'm excited for it, too. I actually haven't... I guess when I bought it from the guy on Facebook Marketplace, I I did. Um, I just wanted to make sure like it was spreading right, so he threw a little bit of like grass seed that he was using it for uh, last fall, and we, I just spread that around. So I know it works. It's tied into the battery, and I have controls up on my handlebars. And then there's like a little override control that I have to flip up in the back. It's right, right, right there. If you see it next to the toolbox, but I think he said it's 12 feet wide, 15 feet wide. I don't know. I can also measure it myself, but. Pretty cool. We should have enough in here. I have more in the back of my truck. I have like two extra bags. Um, I think I will have to fill it up once. I forgot what I calculated. I calculated it like two weeks ago. Like I said, I've had this for a while. Reluctant to show you guys just because I wanted to wait. And I'm excited to get some fertilizer down and hopefully the birds don't eat it at all. That's funny. There we go. All right. This is it. All right. I think it's like 20 feet wide, but you guys can see we're throwing down some fertilizer. All right. There we go. It looks good. All right, all right, all right. This should be good. I need, I do need to spray for some crabgrass. We have some crabgrass growing along back there by the, uh, by the pitcher's mound, and then the catcher's, the catcher's plate or the, the home plate as well, where like the catcher sits, them running back and forth and stuff, and like the batters practicing. That gets a lot of wear and tear. Now, thank goodness, this isn't a little league field. This is for like older kids from I think 13U to 18U. Uh, if you haven't played baseball before, that's just like 13-year-olds to 18-year-olds. And it's uh, it's more like competitive than Little League. It's it's travel teams. So they have a team. They travel around like the state. Now, if this was a Little League field and got used specifically for Little League, you would see here real quick. I want to show you guys this. Anybody who played baseball in the comment section, tell me if you understand what I'm saying when I explain this. You would see a dead spot right right about here. Dead spot of grass, just dirt. Almost a hole. It's almost like a rabbit came here. What that is is the right fielder just bored as heck, digging his foot and his cleat into the ground and digging a hole. Let me know, for those who have played baseball, mostly right field. Right field is the least hit to field. Sometimes it depends. Anyway, right field was the least hit to field in, uh, in Little League and then maybe, maybe on... 
when when players get better better right field is pretty good but also in left field in anywhere honestly there's big old holes that are just trip hazards i thought it was so funny you'd just see a kid out there just so bored just like literally just staring at his <laughs> at his glove just digging his foot into the ground i i just had to say that i thought of it and uh let me know if you guys who have played baseball have seen that or just watched baseball and seen like what the heck is that big hole back there but i re always remember that as a kid all right this works really good i think that that i think it's a, like a cooling fan i still don't know but one thing about the the four wheeler is I, four wheelers tend to overheat like when you don't um get good airflow in there and that was kind of what i was worried about because like when you use it say you use this to plow snow or like different things that was very strenuous and we weren't going high speeds i was worried that they would overheat and the nicer ones don't overheat as much but i've just ran into problems in the past the guy reassured me that it doesn't overheat it doesn't have problems like that and i think the fan in the front like i said helps a little bit with more airflow cooling down the engine but seems like it works really good i'm happy with it i think we're about halfway full so probably when i take another spin around here we'll be almost empty and then i'll go ahead and uh grab another bag but this is just some fall fertilizer i think there is some weed killer in it too for certain types of weeds but i do want to get an official crabgrass down here so I don't have a uh, a sprayer. This is a spreader. I want to get a, a sprayer on the back, but first I had to get the four wheeler. So I'll be looking for a small little AV, ATV sprayer because it's nice to cover ground. And I do a lot of acreages, so it's nice to have like a four wheeler. It's just so so much utility packed into it. So, there we go. Oh wait, okay, there we go. It's empty. All right, let me go ahead. We'll shut her down. I'm going to go ahead and grab a bag in the back here, and then we'll bring it over and get her filled back up. All right, there we go. Put the cap on. I think we're all filled. Perfect. perfect. Looks good. And going around the outside is the most, like, uh, uh, consuming, I guess, of the fertilizer because I'm going, like, the furthest, and then all of a sudden, like, it doesn't take up any fertilizer, and we probably want to go through this even though it seems like we, we just started. The coverage looks good and clean. I can change like how much, uh, and this is granule fertilizer. I mean, it's pretty obvious, but it's not liquid. And I can change how much comes out, like the spread. And then I can change like how dense or how much comes out like per foot traveled. There's some science, but or there's some math behind it, which I don't like math, but I uh, it's pretty easy on the bag. They explain it to you and on the spreader. All right, there we go. We got the infield all taken care of. And then let's go out here and we'll make a few passes. Like I said, I think we're like pretty much almost done. This is a great little addition to to the business because it's just outside of like actually working on pro on like on paid projects and paid accounts like this. I'm actually going to use it at our place of business and it's going to pull around things. It's good. I can hook it up to a trailer and it'll pull it just fine. So I can just throw a little ball hitch on here, just a little two inch ball and we can just you know if i need to scoot something around i don't got to jump in a fifty thousand dollar pickup truck you know use my rear view i can just turn around and it's super simple with four wheel and then also when we're backing in small things into like our new storage shed it'll be great i'll be able to get super tight with this and it can hold a decent amount of weight all right perfect looks like i'm using the full entire spread so i don't have to change that i it's not a big deal if i were to like overlap a little bit but this looks just about the perfect width oh i might be a little short here oh that's fine i'll just turn around here real quick but that is it the field looks amazing we got some fertilizer down and then we will have aeration coming later this fall probably mid on uh, beginning on um, probably mid-october uh to early october we'll see i'll kind of plan out the weather it we're we're in a heat wave coming up this week we're gonna have 95 degrees ish i think one day is like 98 so that is uh that's a little strange but it is still technically august which august still has those dog days and and those dog summer days are just so so hot but it's gonna really cool off we're gonna get into like mid 75s which is my kind of weather man it'll feel so good but that's when the grass is gonna grow we're gonna have sun the ground temp is gonna be very warm from this past summer and then it's not gonna get shocked by the sun it'll be 75 degrees it won't just toast it and then fall, honestly, around here we get quite a bit of rain. Sometimes we get more rain in the fall than we do in the in the spring, which is weird. But fall is the best time for our stuff to grow. And that's when I do most of my reseeding. So I'll be doing more reseeding like you guys saw at Grandma's Place, too, with the little John Deere tractor. That worked out pretty good. I'll probably use the four-wheeler for something as well along with that. Probably I'll use the four-wheeler for... I like it for... Um, we can throw some seed with it for overseeding. But hopefully you guys enjoyed today's episode. The four-wheeler worked amazing. 
It looks pretty cool on the setup back here. Like I said, I need to clean the John Deere mower up. We've tortured that thing. But thank you all so much for watching. Smash the like button on your way out the door. Please subscribe if you haven't read it, haven't already, and I'll see you all in the next one.